Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com and it's time to take a deeper look at the HTC Droid Incredible on Verizon and the new Sense UI. It's the first time we have it in the US here. So there is the unlock screen. You pull down to unlock and here's the first home screen you're greeted with. You have that big HTC flip clock, still very nice, uh, attached to a weather widget. There you see I just got a new voicemail over email, so it just showed up in the notification bar, so there's that. Now you have seven home screens in Sense. You actually have more than that, and we'll blur our way to it here in a second. You have three on either side of that main home screen. When you hit home, this is where it takes you, right? Now it can be a little tough to get to all seven, but here is the leap feature. You pinch or uh, spread your fingers, right, like multi-touch, and then you can jump from one home screen to the other. Very quick, very cool. I'm a huge fan of this. Now you can also, instead of pinching and zooming like that, you can just hit the home button again from that main home screen and it will take you into leap and then you can choose which home screen you want to jump into. Very nice, like that a lot. Now the bottom bar is a little different than we're used to in Android. The launcher has been replaced by that button there on the left. You have a four row, four column launcher. It doesn't look the same as you get on the Nexus one. You don't have that 3D effect, but I can live with it. Here's the phone dialer. Sorry, I gotta cover up some phone numbers here. It's pretty basic phone dialer or whatever. Now, remember, these are all widgets on the home screen, like the clock thing. That is a giant widget. You can trash it, you can get rid of it if you want. But say you want to add a widget, that's where that plus button comes in. There, and you have a huge list of widgets you can choose from. You can choose program shortcuts, all kinds of different shortcuts. You can also add folders if you want folders. Uh, say, like, folders for all your games. You, know, you can do that, not a problem. You can also just hold down on the home screen and you get that same menu, just like hitting the plus button. So there is an HTC mail widget that actually doesn't do Gmail. That does pop and exchange, but it doesn't do Gmail, which is unfortunate. There's a calendar widget, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, toggle switches, Gmail search bar, and they left you two blank ones. There is a favorites widget. There is text messages. There's Dieter, hi Dieter. So there you go, those are the basic home screens. Now you actually have more home screens than just that. Here's the scenes feature, and these are basically other categories of home screens you can have. They're pre-filled with a whole bunch of different widgets. It's very cool. So here's one with a whole different clock. It's got a gallery widget, a Twitter widget. Here's the weather widget. Everything's loading up. There we go. Twitter, there's a gallery. You can put a new album on there. There is a music widget, so you can easily get to your music on your phone. Bookmarks widget, and that'll load up, and then you have another blank one to put whatever you want on there. It's very cool. So you have just a ton of home screens. You can customize, use them as they are, however you want. Very, very cool. Very nice feature. Now let's take a look at some of the apps in here. Android System Info and Barcode Scanner I put on there, so those aren't there by default. But here's the calendar. So you get the weather down at the bottom. That's cool. We're going to jump into month view. So you can see how that looks. Cool. Now let's take a look at the camera. This is the same camera software that we've seen on the HTC Desire and Legend that have been out in Europe for a little while now. Um, you get some cool customizations, some cool settings that you can do that you don't have just on the normal stock Android, so that's nice. Now let's take a look at the car panel. Obviously, if you're using this in a car, you shouldn't be messing with it that much, but if you have to, you have these six giant buttons. So you hit navigation, you're taken into Google Maps. Nice and easy. We'll go into some more of those in a second. Here's City ID. It's another app that's on there by default. Basically, you give it a phone number and it tells you the city and state that it called from. You got a Facebook app. You got FM radio. This is honest to goodness FM radio. It's not going to work right now because you have to have headphones plugged in. They serve as the antenna, but I've tried it. It works. It works fine. Footprints. This is cool photo geotagging that HTC has included for what a year or so now. It started in Windows Mobile, um, and basically you take a picture and it will figure out where you are. So you got longitude and latitude. You got coordinates. You got links. You got maps. You can put notes down at the bottom. A very cool feature if you're into that sort of thing. Now let's take a look at Friendstream. This is kind of the big daddy of the new sense. Friendstream aggregates Twitter, Flickr, and Facebook. And it will bring status updates, it will bring tweets, it will bring new Flickr photos all under one roof and into one app here. Um, this is early Sunday morning I'm doing this so I don't have many people posting on Facebook right now and I'm mainly just seeing uh, Twitter show up in the timeline here. But that's alright. 
There you go. It's a little dicey if you follow as many people as I do. I've never found this too useful for me, but it might work for you. You can look at just status updates. You can tell it to just show you photos. So this will show you, you know, photos that people have posted on Twitter and Facebook all in one place. That's kind of cool if you like following your friends' photos. And you can see links that people have posted. There's one from Android Central. Here's one from people I know on Facebook. So it's a cool little thing. Friend, uh, friend stream is a very, very nice feature in the new sense. Now let's take a look at the internet. Here's the browser. It's a WebKit 3 browser and it has flashlight. That's important. It's not full flash 10.1 that we're still waiting on and that everybody gets all up in arms about. But it is flashlight and it lets you do things like watch YouTube in the browser. And that's kind of cool. Well, it's sort of in the browser. I take that back. You're not going to see the video just play on the screen like you normally would. So it opens up the HTC Flash Player and then runs YouTube from there. And you know what? It works pretty well. Um, it can be a little slow. We're on 3G here on Verizon. It's, you know, so it's not the quickest in the world, but it's pretty good. So here's the video of the Droid Incredible that came out from the 99% conference when it was announced that we've had up on the site for a couple days. So there you go. You know, it's not the smoothest in the world, and we'll see better video here in a second. But, you know, for YouTube, it's not bad. There is a full YouTube client, by the way. Let's take a look at the music app because it's on there and it's pretty good. I like it. Can't hear Ben Harper, I wish you could. Very nice. Now let's take a look at Peep. This is HTC's custom Twitter client. They've included it for a little while now. It only does one account at a time, which for me is kind of a deal breaker. But if you're a one account person, and I hope you are for your own sanity's sake, then it works pretty good. Here's the photo gallery app. I'm actually going to fumble through this for a little bit because I've been messing around with it and was watching a video. We'll look at the video here in a sec. I want to show you the photos first. So let's go back. There we go. So you got a couple different ways you can look at photos. You can look at it just in a list view like this, in a grid view, and you can see all your photos at one time and, and click into them. And There you go. not what we're looking for let's flip it back around you can actually there we go you can look at them like a slideshow or a film strip view which is what i like and then you can just flip back and forth very cool uh there's no dedicated video player sort of in sense you can put a big video in your uh on your phone or on the sd card and then play it through the gallery app which is what i'm doing here and points to you guys if you recognize this just incredible rock show uh, it, and it works well. It looks nice. I mean, this is a full 720p video that I ripped down and, and put on the phone, and it runs just fine. It sounds great with headphones or over speakers. Very cool. Let's duck out of that. Now let's take a look at... There's a stocks app. I don't actually have anything loaded into it yet, so let's add a stock just so you can see how that works. I believe there's a stocks widget at 2, so now let's see how Google did over the past couple days. There's Google, 550, how insane is that? And they were down a little bit on Friday. So there you go, you see how Friday stocks went, cool. And let's take a look at the weather app. This has always been a favorite from HTC. They have the best weather app on any smartphone platform at this point, I believe. And you can add a number of cities, it can pull your location, figure out where you are. Just, it is beautiful, it's gorgeous. It's the way it should be. So that's it, guys. That's Sense, in a nutshell, pretty quick on the Verizon Droid Incredible. And it pretty much lives up to its name. All right, we'll see you later.